Greg Norman's golfing revolution had a large blow to it, and more information has come out recently about it. It seems like some controversial comments from Phil Mickelson seemingly halted the momentum of his golf career and revolution. So stay tuned to today's video, as we're going to discuss the biggest blow in Greg Norman's $3 billion golf revolution. First up we have the biggest blow in Greg Norman's $3 billion golf revolution. It looks like Phil Mickelson's recent comments on the Saudi Gold League have halted the momentum of Greg Norman's golf revolution. After these comments were made, Greg Norman started claiming that all the negative attention caused so many golfers who were ready to go to pull out of the project, meaning he might be losing $3 billion. Many of the golfers supposedly pulled out before its 14 event schedule and roster were even released, according to Greg Norman himself. There's no question Mickelson's comments hurt, Norman said per ESPN. It hurt a lot of aspects. It hurt the PGA Tour. It hurt us. It hurt the game of golf. It hurt Phil. So yeah, across all fronts, it wasn't just specifically to us, but it definitely created negative momentum against us. Mickelson also nonchalantly began dropping human rights abuses. The Saudi government has committed. They killed Washington Post columnist and U.S. resident Jamal Khashoggi and have a horrible record on human rights, Mickelson said in an interview with golf writer Alan Shipnuck. They execute people over here for being gay. Knowing all of this, why would I even consider it? Because this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to reshape how the PGA Tour operates. From what Greg Norman has said after everyone pulled out, at least 30% of the world's top players had committed to his new league before the comments were made by Mickelson, and he's not happy about it at all. We had enough players in our strength of field, or minimal viable product, ready to come on board, and when all of that happened, everybody got the jitters, and the PGA Tour threatened people with lifetime bans and stuff like that, he said. To this day, we still have players under contract and signed. The ones who wanted to get out because of the pressure of the PGA Tour gave back their money and got out. Guys had money in their pockets. Despite losing that many of the top players and that much money from them, Greg stated that he still has more than 200 ongoing registrations to his new league and the first tournament he's running, even one from Mickelson himself. Mickelson is keeping his options open, according to his agent, regarding this new league. Even with the damage he's caused to the new league, he's still attending. What do you all think about this? Let us know down in the comments section below. What is your opinion on all of this? Let us know down in the comments section below. Things are heating up within the world of golf, and more is on the horizon. We'll see how this new league turns out in the end. Despite being all but ruined by Mickelson's comments, Norman seems happy with the way it's going and optimistic regarding its success. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with it over the coming months. And now, on to some other golfing information. So, how does Tiger Woods spend his money? Tiger Woods is back on the scene, and many are asking where all of this money he earns goes. He's a guy who's gone through a lot, many divorces and controversies. So where does he settle down for the day, and what does he own? The main thing he has purchased with his earnings throughout his career is his 12 acre $40 million estate, which comes equipped with its own swimming pool, and of course, a house for him and his family. His mansion and everything on his land were built from scratch and took years to get right. This overall cost him about $55 million. The property has its own three and a half acre golf course, tennis and basketball court, lap pool, waterfall, not to mention the double private dock he also has in his house. His many yachts are parked up ready for a boat ride. His house is made up of a 3,000 square foot living area and a 6,000 square foot multi-purpose building. This is where the full quip gym, wine cellar, theater, elevator, and even an oxygen therapy room. As well as this crazy piece of land that Tiger owns, he once owned a huge property in Florida as well. Now you might be thinking that all of this is enough, even for a rich man. Well, it turns out that Tiger Woods also has his own island in Sweden. The island has a home in the center with land around it. It's an amazing island with lots of beauty. To get to this island, Tiger has many boats to choose from, as well as some insane cars to drive around in. Though we don't know any specifics, he probably has everything top of the range with that cash flow. His very own private plane comes in handy when he needs to get around the globe for events and golfing needs. So his life just seems insane with all that cash flow. But there must be more, right? Well, we don't actually know a whole lot about other parts of his spendings. So this is all we have for now. Let us know down in the comments section below what you thought about Tiger Woods and his rich lifestyle. And let us know if you have any idea how else he spends his millions. Next up, how did Tiger Woods change golf? With Tiger Woods on his way back into the golf world after recovering from an awful car crash. We have some thoughts about his legacy. Woods is known for changing golf altogether, but what has he done? Tiger Woods really showed the world that anyone could play golf. The sport was dominated by older men who had seen better days. He went into the sport at the age of 20 after just completing two years at Stanford University. He was one of the youngest players of all time and got a full scholarship in 1994. At the time, no one could believe that such a young man was interested, let alone good, at golf. He competed throughout his younger days and turned professional.
professional young as well. Some didn't support his decision to leave school early, but Tiger quickly proved everyone wrong and showed how the decision was more than successful for his career and life going forward. Woods inspired many young golfers to head in the same direction as him and created the next generation of golfers that are playing right now. There was no one like him out there in the world, and it showed. He put his all into golf and became a legend doing so. He became better and better, proving those who doubted him wrong. Because of golf being seen as a casual sport, the prize funds weren't the best thing in the world. Though it was still a lot of money, it wasn't enough. When Tiger Woods won his first event back in 1997, the entire prize fund was $2.7 million, and for winning he got $486,000. It's definitely a lot of money, but compared to now, it's nothing. Because of what Tiger did to the sport, things have changed. Now, 22 years later, the entire prize fund is $11.5 million, and he would take home $2.7 million. As well as increasing the prize funds, more TV coverage and more fans were brought along with him. People came in droves to watch a game with Tiger Woods involved, and that created an entire new generation of golf watchers, not players. From his very beginning, Tiger was bringing in large crowds, and they only got bigger and bigger over time. The biggest thing was when he signed his $40 million deal with Nike, giving him more endorsements than ever. These brought in more viewers, especially after he won the Masters in 97. That brought in a record viewing of 43 million viewers. It's actually the highest rated round and major of all time. It's safe to say that Tiger is a legend and can't be beaten in terms of importance to golf. What do you think about all of this? Let us know down in the comments below. And that's the end of today's video. The Greg Norman situation is really something crazy. Mickelson's comments might have been correct in his eyes, but he has ruined a really interesting business idea from Norman, and it could ruin his career in the long run. Let us know down below what you think about it all. Tiger Woods is a legend of the game and will always be regarded like that. Even after his controversial moments across the years, it's hard to say he hasn't impacted the game of golf. He'll go down in history as a legend of the sport. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comments section below. It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye!